I'm here with Roy Wasabi. Hey. <laughs> and we're gonna make some steaks tonight. He's got a New York strip steak, and I've got a ribeye. Wait, I'm wearing the wrong outfit. Be right back. And we're back. Ah, I feel better now. Okay. Ah, me too. That was a good change. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna do really simple seasoning for this one. I keep it really simple because this is like a really quick and easy recipe. We're just gonna use simply black pepper on season generously all over your, your steak. Just black pepper. Alright, go ahead, Roy, you can do that. And then I'm gonna take my sea salt and just sprinkle it all around it a little. Ooh. Generously. And then uh, flip it over, and then we're gonna do black pepper on this side again. There you go, nice, nice, nice. Am I doing it right? Yeah, nice. So we're just gonna go black pepper, black pepper, lots of it, because it's gonna it's gonna be cooked off anyway. So lots, lots of black pepper, lots of it. Yeah, it's delicious. And then, so oh, that's a little bit too much salt. So a little bit more salt. There we go. And then once you do that, wait for you to get that done. There you go. 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 Then you want to take your stick and you want to pick up all that extra seasoning everywhere. You want to just pick it all up to waste, oh. not waste it. So just make sure you pick it all up. Really simply. So since we're pan searing today, we're going to put some olive oil on these pans. And um, we want to get the pan like in like super hot, like 500 degrees hot. Like the oil is going to be smoking like crazy. And Roy's going to show us how to spread the oil around. Go ahead, you can spread that oil around. Spread it. You gotta just turn it east, north, west, and south. Yeah. We're using to cook the steak is actually some thyme, 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 thyme. Mm -hmm. and some garlic. Ooh, and a little bit of butter. Right, it's game. Okay, here we go. That's a low smoking point. So, all right, ready? Grab your meat. All right, guys, we're back. And see how it's smoking? That means the pans are super hot. You always want to lay the meat away from yourself, right? Okay. So you set it like this. Oh, oh, fire! Oh. Fire! Ah. Ah. So it's away. gonna go like this. Away, watch, ready? There, and you just don't touch your meat after. Ah! <laughs> don't freak out, don't freak out. Okay, I'm good. So now you just go ahead and then we'll walk over to our garlic. So come over here. Garlic. Yeah, so we're gonna hit, go ahead and grab one and just hit your garlic like this. Like that. There you go. Go ahead and throw one of those on there, like, like anywhere you want, like in the oil spot. And then grab some thyme. Some thyme. Make it a little smelly, smelly. And then you just put that next to it. Put that next to it, bam. We're gonna get some butter ready. Butter? Yeah. Okay, just take the thick one. Yeah, okay. We're gonna just let that sit for a sec. Alright. Oh, yeah, you can come get some cool shots of this, Aaron, if you want to see it. Like this hair. is what our uh, meat looks like right now. Beautiful, beautiful. Smells good. Yes! Alright, we're not gonna put the butter in just yet. Yes! Yeah, that does seem good. Alright, so now that our meat's cooking, you really just want to leave it alone, let it, you know, don't freak out. Just leave it alone, that's really the main trick to this cooking stuff. Um, what we want is like a nice char, like, outside layer. So we're going to sit there, and I thought there were these techniques. So, if you're touching your hand right here, this is rare, medium rare, medium well, mm -hmm. well done. Ooh. And so I taught Roy, how to taught Roy how to touch his steak, and he's going to be able to feel it and see where he's at. But right now we're just gonna let it relax, and if you want, like I like to put the garlic like right here in this oil a little bit, oh, so it gets it, you know, nice and brown. I'm yeah, actually even gonna get some more garlic. Let me grab one more piece. Just break that, put that in there. Cool. Oh shit! It's going on fire. It's going on fire. I was like, "There's don't a fire worry. right there. Why is there a fire no, there?" No, no, just relax. We're good. We're good. I'm gonna flip our meat. Flip it. Yeah. Flip it to the back side. Wow. Wow. See how it has a nice crisp crunch <laughs> yeah, on the yeah, other yeah. side? This is where you want to grab your butter. Go ahead and grab your butter. Okay. You got your butter right? I got my butter. Go ahead and lay it right next to it like that. Nice. And then this part you want to find the fatty side. So this is probably the fatty side right here. The meat. So you know, like this, right? Yeah. You got your spoon ready, right? Yep. All right, cool. So you got your fatty side. Um, and see how the garlic was cooking inside the butter and all that? It's all delicious now. Yeah. Grab your tongs over there. And just take the garlic and just like rub it on the outside a little oh, bit. Give it a little yeah. rub. Give it a rub on the outside. Cool? Yeah. All right, now, once you've done rubbing your garlic on the other side, you want to take the fatty side and you're going to tilt the whole pan this way. So it's kind of on its edge. On its edge like this. There you go. And grab your spoon. And then you want to take the butter and just drizzle it over the top right here. This drizzle is, it over the top. This sounds delicious right now. And then the more times you drizzle, the more flavor you're actually adding to your steak. So it's really delicious. 
So you want to get it right there. Just keep drizzling it and cooking that fatty side. So you want to, yeah, tilt more until like that. This side is just like laying in it. See how mine's like laying in it right there like that? Yeah. All right. Then we're going to get a tongs here. I'll give you the big tongs. Go ahead and grab the big tongs. Okay. And uh, I'll get the little ones. Um, and find the side with like some fat on it and you want to just drill it on that side. Like just drill it in the butter like this. Oh, wow. Just get the fat just in the butter like that. Like this. Yeah, whichever side the fat. There you go. There you go. Do that for a little bit. Oh, man. Do that for a little bit. We'll do that to both sides, actually. Just let it cook in that butter. So it's delicious. Yeah. Now I'll go over and do it to the other side. Okay, and then I touch it. Mine feels medium rare already. What does your feel like? Medium rare. It does? Using the hand trick, Roy. I see you. Now? Good? <laughs> it's good. All right, yours feels medium rare? Yep. You like it a little bloody, right? Oh, yeah. Okay. Mine's pretty close to being done already. Because the meat continues to cook even after you take it off, right? So you want to touch it and make sure it's like rare, medium rare, and then there. So these are our two steaks wow. right here. Wow. We have these right here. And then to finish it off, we're going to grab the pan. And we're going to drizzle Ooh, that butter it's over so, the top so right here. Good. And you're going to get the garlic and just scrape it a little bit more on top. Drizzle some mine. Get some of the thyme and just let it, Ooh. let it live into there. Then I'm going to take my time, do the same thing I just did to Roy's, and just let it relax a little. We got like five minutes. Alright, let's go.